to Jess Bridges, Scummy Try. This one, as the title says, a Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman is a, uh, well, believe it or not, it's a one litre. That's right, a one litre bottle, which is really rare for Australia. Pretty sure uh, Booze Reviews has had this, and also I'm pretty sure Swillengrog. Uh, so this is 4.6% uh, ABV, like I said, one litre bottle. Uh, so it works out to be 3.7 standard drinks per bottle, so that's pretty good. Uh, it is made for a particular mob in here in Australia. Imported by High Spirits Wholesale. Okay, so I purchased this from a bottle mart. It's a little local bottle mart there in Iluka, not far from where I live. Uh, I walked in there just for a sticky beak like I always do at bottle shops and you always find something anyway. I saw this, and I haven't seen it down here. I've heard about it, obviously, some of the other boys review it. And uh, so I, I snapped it up. I think I had paid about seven, $7.50 for the bottle. Um, so it, it's really, it's really cheap. Uh, like, you know, cheap and value for money brew. Just saying the side though, it does have, uh, just saying the side, it has stabilizer E405 and color E150C. So it has got some stuff in it. And it looks like it's made in Spain. It's a product of Spain, so a Spanish lager. Let's crack it. Smells, smells European. It is very frosty schooner glass. On a um, cold winter's night, I wouldn't say it's freezing though. If it was like this all year round, I'd be happy. It's just we've had a lot of rain here lately and um, the ground's just not drying out. All right, the Flying Dutchman, what have we got? Pretty clear appearance. Carbonation, this is a, like a headmaster glass, so we'll head will stick around. One for your head, pretty white. Yeah, it looks pretty good in the glass, that light golden appearance. The aroma, some musty grains. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm smelling. So uh, cheers is all. Let's get into it. All right, first go. It's not too bad. The bloke at the ball shop actually said his uh, mate buys this. He's a fisherman and he, he really enjoys it. I can see why, uh, value for money wise, it's, it's got that light malt sweetness. Kind of reminds me of something like a, an Italian lager, like a bit like something, something similar to a Peroni red. Uh, in taste, but the, 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 it, it's got somewhat a bit of breadiness, a malt there, breadiness slash grainy kind of malt, light malt, light uh, light bitterness. Um, the finish is it's very very European. That's like you know, you have a European lager, your basic average Joe European lager. That's what it's finishing. And finishing pretty nice and dry. It's four point six. So yeah, let's go again. Okay, that. Flavour profile has not changed. Uh, exactly how I described it. It's nothing. There's no real off flavours in it. It's, it's pretty good. It's what I expect from that kind of area Spanish. Kind of all the other Spanish brews I've had over the years. It's pretty much flavour. Spanish slash. Um, uh, Portugal, which is right near it, and Portugal, it's, it's very, well, same area, it's very similar, same profile, uh, finishes, like I said, pretty clean. Sessionability-wise, very highly sessionable, one litre, uh, one litre bottles, you, no dramas, so I'll, probably, I'll finish this tonight quite easily. You don't, you know, they have 4.6, it's, it's what we call a heavy here in Australia, but it's not what you really call a European heavy. European heavy to me is 526. Like in Australia, the number one selling beers are 3.5 pretty much. But sessionability, like really high. It's a pretty good value for money. I feel like can't fault it. It's, it's always you get these beers where you don't expect much. Like, oh yeah, just get a try it and uh, delivers. Delivers, yeah. I don't like the idea of the colour being added, but. A lot of them do it, add colour to the beard and get it bang on. Uh, all the stabilise, but anyway. 
you might get a bit more of a hangover. I don't know, because I'm only gonna have the one bottle. Anyway, so uh, rounded it up, the Flying Dutchman. You know, value for money, did not disappoint. If, I don't know what bottle shops you can find it at. Like I said, my bottle marts here don't have it. Down the river, there was a little bottle mart that had some, so. Price point's great, taste is pretty decent, and uh, I'm happy to give this a score of a good, a good uh, a Spanish lager. And uh, yeah, so if you see the Flying Dutchman and you like a lager and you like saving a bit of money, if you want a bit of value for money beer, try it. Right, thanks for watching the episode of Jazz Reviews. You guys all take care and I'll see you we roam, ghostly ship far from home.